Okay, I want to talk a little bit. This is completely my opinion. Total commentary, total speculation on my part. I have no insider knowledge. Don't really even really care all that much. But I just, I get intrigued by stuff like this. And when I hear about the worst video gaming leak in history, and then people start talking about it. And the more I hear, the more and more I start to think bullshit. That this was not intentional. The reason why I say that is because not long after Phil Spencer put his letter out stating that this leak shouldn't have happened and that a lot of this stuff wasn't you know, current and that this stuff wasn't supposed to see the light of day. This was an internal, these were all internal documents. The FTC comes out and says, wait a minute, this is not the FTC's fault. This is an Xbox fault. Y'all were sent a link. And we're informed that if these documents weren't supposed to be disseminated or posted to the public site, which most court documents are public knowledge, then they had a private link to send that information with the knowledge that these documents were supposed to be for court eyes only, meaning that for the FTC to see and the judge and whoever's working on the case and not for me and you. With that being said, a lot of this stuff comes out. The only thing that I think that he's upset about is the emails because he mentions that he specifically mentions the email in the note that he sent out to employees of Xbox. So I think that's the main thing he's upset about is that the emails were sent out because maybe in the emails there's more to what's in there than, say, the Zenimac management forecast here, which doesn't say anything about Fallout 4s next gen update and i'm still I, I i'm starting to feel like i'm being like like well not just me but all of us fallout fans and especially fallout 4 fans were being ghosted by bethesda once again and i know starfield just dropped but come on man it's been since january you know what gives it's time for an update you know at least say it's coming out by december you know something anything but you know i think the emails I tell more of the story than anything else. And I think that's what he's feels, feels more upset about than anything else is that if you read these, you know, there there's, I only could find two cause they were all deleted before I could get to them. These were only ones still on the internet and I am not sharing these. I'm not going to put them in the video or anything like that because I don't want my, take a chance and, and you know, channel get gigged or anything, but I will talk about, there's a section here where he talked about, Elden Ring and trying to talk to from, I guess from soft about getting all the dark soul games onto game pass. He didn't say game pass, but what he says is, is another option with the hit factor around Elden Ring is trying is to try to get all of the dark soul games and make a push from soft and an Elden Ring upsell. So, you know, and that's smart because Elden Ring, you know, more subscribers, you know, to Xbox Game Pass. You have more people come to Xbox Game Pass and then, you know, they'd have one of the best games. And I think I, Elden Ring, even though I'm not great at games like that and I suck, well, I suck at games like that. Elden Ring's a great game. It is a great game. And if you like dying a million times and you don't mind trudging through and, and fighting to get your character leveled up then that's the game for you and it's a great game and it is a great game i had fun playing it i sucked at it but i had a great time playing it. hey you know all the people who think i sucked at diablo 4 you should have seen me play elden ring <laughs> i am horrible at elden ring but you know it is what it is so you know uh the person he was talking to was talking about dying light 2 star wars lego Skyline paired or City Skyline 2. And then they went on to talk about Ubisoft and incorporating Ubisoft in something. They didn't specify what. And I'm assuming that was for Game Pass. And this was probably before, because this is last year. So this is before they incorporated, before they made a deal with Ubisoft. So, you know, not everything in here is going to be, it's going to happen. You know, a lot of times when they talk about stuff, they're just, throwing ideas around and trying to figure things out, you know, and stuff. But 
here's the reason why I think that this leak was kind of BS. Some of it was meant to happen. The best way for a company to know what direction to go and what der- and what their customers are thinking is for stuff like this to happen. You think that Activision doesn't allow those leaks to happen? Hmm? <laughs> now, any footage and stuff like that, I'm sure they don't want that out there. But when somebody comes out and says, hey, man, they're going to have this in the game, they're going to have this, they're going to have that, they're gauging what the fan base wants so they know what to work on for the game. So let's say that they, they say, you know, they're going to have this in here, they're going to have that, and people are like, man, why are they putting that in the game? That sucks. And then sometimes it may still be in the game, but they may not make it the focal point of the game. They may make something else the focal point. I mean, you think about it, you know, that's a smart thing to do. That's marketing 101. That's how to keep your fan base sort of happy without actually giving them what they want, which is an Activision way. And this is, it's like mining for gold. You go to the river, you take a shovel, you put it in your freaking shake pan and you shake it out and you get rid of all the big rocks and the loose dirt and you get rid of everything and then you got all the gold, if there's any gold. Whatever gold you got is what money you've made. And that's pretty much the same philosophy here. They're seeing, they're sifting the sands of where they need to focus their energy on what games and what products they should be working on to make their customers happy, to make more money. And the best way for them to do that is for me and you to talk about it. And for them to sit back and go, think about that. That's a really great idea. And it's not, they're not going to base it off of one person making a video like me. They're going to base it off of multiple videos, multiple tweets, multiple articles, and they're going to see where everybody's at. And they probably got somebody pulling in all this information, data analyzing, AI analyzing, whatever. And they're going to figure out and they're going to say, oh, that's where we need to focus. And it may not make me or you happy. Like, I'm not happy about the fact we ain't heard shit about the Fallout 4 Next Gen update since January. And I didn't realize it had been that long. I'm a little, still a little upset about that. I was five minutes ago, and I will be in 10, 10 minutes, and I will be in 20 minutes until we get a definite date on when it's going to drop. What they'll probably do is one day you'll cut on your Fallout. You'll, you'll get on Fallout 4, and there'll be an update is what will happen. And I know they're focused on Starfield, so I'm just saying that just to be an ass. But, you know, um, I just really honestly believe that most of this here is when they call it a forecast, They call it an internal document for discussion only, confidential for discussion purposes only. That's what it's meant for. It's meant to say, okay, this is where we would like to go, and this is what we would like to do. But it doesn't always mean that. You have to have a roadmap to know where you're going or you're never going to get anywhere. That's it. That's my opinion. I don't think the leak was completely arbitrary. I think they did some of it on purpose because they had the private link. They could have sent it to the private link and they didn't. And I think that maybe some of it was supposed to go to the private link and other parts of it wasn't. But in truth, I could be completely wrong too. I could be completely wrong, but it is what it is. So anyway, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about this topic. If there's any topics you'd like to hear me talk about, please share them in the comments below. And uh, I will see y'all in the next one. Don't forget, I stream Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, for a few hours each day. And I go back and forth between Fallout Nuka World, and uh, which is what I'm trying to finish up. So if you see this video, I may be done with that by now. I may be doing something else with it, Fallout or one of the Fallout games, and uh, Skyrim. Or no, not Skyrim. Starfield, Skyrim in space. That's what I'm going to call it for now, just Skyrim in space. Yeah, so I may be doing something stupid in it. I don't know. <clears throat> Trying to attack a ship that I can't attack and get blown up doing it. Yeah, It's fun. I enjoy the game. It, it, yeah, And I have my thoughts on the game too as well. So Anyway, guys, I will talk to you all in the next one. Y'all take care.